Hello everybody, this is Johns Hopkins with Baltimore Heritage and we are back with one of our five minute histories. Um, welcome back to my living room in Bolton Hill. I knew that yesterday we were not gonna get through all of what we wanted in Federal Hill. So we're gonna go back there today and we're gonna talk about Federal Hill during the Civil War and particularly about a gentleman named Benjamin Franklin Butler. Isn't that a great name, Benjamin Franklin Butler? Um, General Butler was in charge basically of Baltimore during the Civil War. And if you remember your history, uh, Maryland of course was a border state, uh, Baltimore the linchpin of, of the state. And Abraham Lincoln wanted to make sure that uh, Maryland did not secede from the Union. And although we don't really think about Baltimore's Civil War sites today, if you were a Baltimorean back then, you very much felt the presence of the Civil War um, pretty much everywhere. There was a thousand uh, person army hospital in Lafayette Square, and there was, a, uh, there was another enormous army union camp in Patterson Park, um, and then there was an encampment on uh, Federal Hill, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but I, I do want to share one story about Patterson Park and the encampment there. Um, the, in, in 2014, I was about to say 1814, but in 2014, when we celebrated the bicentennial of the Battle of Baltimore in the War of 1812, Baltimore Heritage, we did a, a pretty big archaeology dig to find stuff from the War of 1812, which we did, but we also found stuff from the Civil War. We sort of dag, dug through the Civil War layer to get to the War of 1812 layer. And at one point we were out there digging, uh, and I think it was a student, we had a lot of students help. A student uh, uh, jumped up and down and said he found a button. And I will say on an archeology span dig, if you find anything, it's super exciting. If you've ever done that, uh, you'll know what I mean. If you haven't, uh, go volunteer sometime, it's really fun. So this, this young gentleman jumps up and down and said he found a button, um, and we jumped up and down too, and then we kind of said, well, that you know, it's probably a button from a raincoat in 1986 or something that, that got down in there somehow. But the professional archeologist who was there uh, got a little bit of excited and he said, wow, you found a, a Union um, a button from the Civil War. And the, all of us, including the guy who found it, were, looked quizzically and the archeologist said, read what it says on the button. And the young gentleman read, read Goodyear. And then we thought the archeologist was playing with us. He said, Goodyear, that's the tire maker. And we learned that before Goodyear was making automobile tires, they were making buttons for uh, uniforms. And the reason was, if you were a soldier and you were running along and you fell, it was a lot better, and you fell on your chest, it was a lot better to fall and get poked by a soft rubber button made by Goodyear than it was a hard metal clasp. So um, if you want to do something fun, there's all sorts of uh, companies that have been around for a while, including Civil War era companies that are still here today. Maybe we'll put that as a question. All right, I'm sorry, back to, uh, back to the uh, uh, Benjamin Franklin Butler, known as the Beast. Um, he was, uh, and he apparently relished in that, uh, that nickname. Um, he oversaw the entire city's uh, uh, union encampment. Um, he declared martial law. He put our mayor, uh, George Brown, in jail, along with the city council for uh, a good chunk of the Civil War. Um, and up on Federal Hill, he, he uh, erected an enormous fort. And it had all sorts of training grounds and whatnot. And it also had cannons. And if you go up there today, you'll see a cannon. Um, and if you look at it, uh, it's right on the edge overlooking Key Highway in downtown. And you look at it and you say, that cannon looks like it's pointing towards downtown, but that can't be. It has to be sort of maybe a, a defensive cannon from the War of 1812 or something. Um, well, your first guess would have been right. It is a cannon pointing at downtown. Um, uh, the Beast, General the Beast Butler, had a number of cannons pointing at important places downtown. One was City Hall, and some other, uh, other ones were the homes of prominent Baltimore families. If you were a prominent Baltimore family at the time, uh, and you were white, you had a good chance of being a Southern sympathizer, or were maybe even actively uh, participating with the Confederacy. And the Beast wanted to make sure uh, that you as a Baltimorean family uh, knew your place. And one of the things he did is he would invite, um, especially the wives of the prominent families, up to uh, take a look at the fortification and then see all sorts of uh, interesting, cool military stuff. And then they'd walk over to the cannon and they'd say, oh my, that looks like it's pointing at City Hall. And say yes. 
And then they'd parade around a little more and it'd show them another cannon and Miss Such and Such would say, well, that looks like it's pointing at my house. And he would say, well, well dear, you're right. And when you go home tonight for dinner, remind your husband that, uh, that that's what it is. Um, and I think that it had its intended effect, um, although there were uh, Confederate sympathizers and even armed smugglers in Baltimore, um, General Butler never had to use his cannons on the city. Um, I'll end on one final note. If you walk down, if you're at Patterson, uh, Patterson, I'm sorry, Federal Hill, and you walk down the little tiny street, Henry Street, um, just to the south, you'll see a house with a wonderful set of uh, porches on it. That was uh, General Beast Butler's uh, headquarters during the Civil War. Um, and we know uh, he was uh, uh, following military custom. If you were a deserter, a uh, Union Army deserter, um, you were hanged. We know that happened um, in uh, Druid Hill Park. Some people were caught deserting and were hanged. And we believe that uh, there may have been some people hanged right on the lawn that was at that point next to the house. Um, in fact, a prior owner of the house uh, shared with us um, that when they did some renovations, they found what looked like iron couplings on the floor that could have held shackles for military prisoners. Um, so we don't know 100% for sure, but we, we think there's at least a good chance of that. And so I'm going to end with inviting you to take a walk back up to Federal Hill uh, and think about the War of 1812, uh, but also think about General the Beast Butler uh, and his role on keeping uh, Baltimore and Maryland in, firmly with the Union. Thanks so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.